Hi everybody, today I'm going to review and talk about the Rubbermaid High Heat Scraper. And uh, I have two sizes. I have the 9.5, even, uh, even though it's not 9.5 for some reason uh, when you measure it. And I have the 13.5 inch as well. So as you can see, the 13.5 inch is really 15 inches in length and the nine and a half inch is about ten and a half inch in length. I have no idea how they calculate the uh, the length. It's weird. But besides the uh, lengthwise, this is a really, really good tool for the kitchen. Now, why, why is it so great? One, it really does resist heat and it doesn't uh, peel or melt or whatever, but in the design of this tool, they thought about a lot of things. One, it has a nice thin hook so you can hook it on anything you want. It has these little footers here so you can leave it and whatever is stuck here won't touch uh, the surface you're putting it on. They have this little lip here and this works for scraping bowls and you know how the bowls, uh, not bowls, but uh, jars. Now our jars have a little lip where the uh, the, the uh, cap goes. That's for there. They have a 90 degree angle right here. Gets to tight corners and a bigger um, round area here that lets you get to round corners. Overall, also it's flexible yet pretty stiff. So you could you could actually move stuff with it. And it won't it, and it won't um, bend too much, so it has the right amount of flex to it, uh, just enough to uh, to just work well. And I'm really happy with this product. It uh, it doesn't seem to be um, staining because I've I've used a lot of uh, I've used it with a lot of uh, uh, soups that would normally stain stuff. But uh, I wash it and it comes back straight, uh, just like this, white. Good stuff. Now, these come in two models. They come in this shape and they also come in the shape that shows on the handle. But I personally prefer this because it's way more versatile. Uh, you could uh, use both sides and get to those nick and corners of whatever. One more thing I wanted to show you is also how why these are. So the bigger model is at 17 centimeters on the top here and maybe six and a half on the bottom and just about two and a half inches, a little over two and a half inches. And this one is at about two inches on the bottom and about two and a quarter on the top of the spatula area. So uh, that's, uh, that's all there is to it. I wanted to give this tool a uh, full two thumbs up. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please, please, thumb up, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.